Welcome back once more here on BPTV. Dealing with the loss of a loved one is never easy, but losing someone to violence can cause a person to think the darkest of thoughts. In the aftermath of such a tragedy, one young man is spreading a message of love, which has served as an inspiration within his community and beyond. Yesterday, the Yankees recognized him and his siblings on day one of this year's Hope Week. Here's Bob Lorenz with more. On June 17th, the city of Charleston, South Carolina, and the nation was rocked by the senseless shooting at the Emanuel African Methodist Episcopal Church. The church was a place of peace, but that evening turned into a place of tragedy, taking the lives of nine parishioners. One of the victims was Sharonda Coleman Singleton, a speech pathologist and girls track coach at the local high school. Sharonda, above all, was a loving mother of three. Her eldest son, Chris, an accomplished athlete, will be a sophomore at Charleston Southern University this fall and is a key member of their baseball team. His mother loved watching her son play. She never missed a game. She loved everybody with all her heart. They've shown that we can come together, you know. We've come together as a community, try to get past these things. Love is always stronger than hate. So if we just love the way my mom would, then the hate won't be anywhere close to what love is. Chris's message of forgiveness has rallied others to do the same and help the healing process begin for many. Two months after the tragedy in Charleston, Chris, along with his two younger siblings and cousin, were accompanied on a trip to New York City with his baseball coach, Stuart Lake. They took in all the sights and sounds the city has to offer and gave the family a chance to smile. The next morning, Chris knew he was to appear on the Today Show while he was in town to tell his story. But what he didn't know was that there was a day of surprises ahead for him and his family. Look who is here. <laughs> Honestly, I feel like I'm playing a video game right now because I get to meet all these great guys. It's kind of like a little dream I just woke up from, and it's still, I'm still dreaming. But it's been really cool for me, so hopefully the day continues to go great. After the shock set in, the Singletons and company were off to One World Trade to see all of the city. His baseball coach happened to be Brett Gardner's baseball coach in Charleston. So all the way around the support system, this amazing young man, his mother must have been truly very, very special because she's raised these children no matter what, that love should prevail. And I just hope that we can bring a little bit of joy in their life and let them know how much our world cares about them. Coach Lake and I go back 10, 12 years ago to when I was in college, but uh, you know, I just met Chris this morning for the first time, looking forward to getting to know him better, but Stu's told me uh, what a special kid he is. I'm glad that we can bring some awareness and, um, and, and kind of shed a little light on his story and um, you know the world needs more people like him. You know we're all South Carolina guys so um, it's exciting to be here and just seeing him, his brother and sister, cousin smiling and happy, it makes me feel really good and the Yankees have been unbelievable. Just to meet this young man, his conviction, his passion, forgiveness, uh, I was just impressed with him, you know, just from afar. I, to be honest, I don't know if I could have uh, felt the way he did. I think the majority of us couldn't, but it's just a testament to how brave and how outstanding this young man is. I'm getting text messages on my phone, people hearing that I'm getting the getting opportunity to meet Chris, and they're texting me about the inspiration that he's been for them, and, and you realize how important things like this are. He's a great young man. I mean, a uh, big heart, uh, you know, taking care of his, uh, his siblings, his family. Um, I mean, just talking to him today. You know, he's uh, well beyond his years, and, uh, you know, we're happy to, you know, have him part of the family. Putting his baseball skills to the test, Chris then got a taste of the majors by taking batting practice at Yankee Stadium with the team. It was awesome. I actually hit a couple out, so I'm going to tell all my friends about that. Chris continues to inspire everyone he meets and shows them that love really does prevail. I don't know if he knew the impact what happened made outside of Charleston. I think now he's starting to realize that his comments, his mother's life, meant a lot to a lot of people. I honestly didn't know it would go this viral. All I said was love is stronger than hate, but when I really do think about it, it really should go viral, because it really does mean a lot to me. It's like I play with them on the video game, and they're saying that they look up to me, and they, they are, admire what I've done, so it's been awesome for me. We welcome back 
2015 Hope Week honorees, Chris, Cameron, and Caleb Singleton. The Yankees are a great organization. They have great people that really care about people like me. So honestly, I might become a little bit of a Yankees fan after this. For more on the story of Chris Singleton and other honorees as they are recognized, you can visit HopeWeek.com. We can also read about honorees from past Hope Week celebrations. YesNetwork.com will also have more on this year's event as the week goes on.